okay guys so today we'll see the OSGI configuration so let's see so first of all what does it mean by the OSGI configuration so simple here you see here I have one example so this one this is the variable declaration in this way we can declare and initialize the variable so what we have done here so this is the null value this null value we have assigned it to this create tag variable but in in a real cases okay in a real scenario we will not directly hard code the values okay so here we have defined the null but we will not uh, hard code the value directly so for that we need something okay so that's why they have uh, introduced the concepts of the OHGI configuration so it's provide the configuration to the bundle that means it provides some information like we will not configure directly here no so if you have username and the password so where you will write so we can write inside the OHGI configuration okay and this OHGI configuration will call here so now I'll show you where we can see the OHGI configuration so just simply come here here we have a localhost 4502 system system console and the instead of bundle here we have to write the config MGR that means the config manager okay so when you are hitting this path you will see the OHGI configuration so if I'm clicking here it will open one interface so this is nothing but your OHGI configuration so here we have passes the information so see so in some cases what we need we are needing this gate method post method put method so how we can pass to the to our service or our backend code so for that we have just simply this uh, OHGI configuration you can just simply use this okay so this is the thing now we'll see how we can create this interface so this is nothing but the OHGI service no so we need one platform for entering the information so here they have uses the option that means it's select here they have uses the text here you have they have uses the text as well and here they have used the text okay and this is nothing but the description and this is nothing but the name of your field okay so we have to create this all the stuff so so that means your OHGI configuration support these data types your OHGI configuration will support these data types you have to create it okay so how we can create so first of all they have given all the things you don't need to be worry about you just have to create the code or the data types these fields you can simply say this is the field by using the by using some specific data types okay so now uh, and uh, we have uh, annotations for creating the OHGI configuration okay so now see now I what I want I just want to create the OHGI configuration so they have provided the annotation okay so here that is the first annotation that is object class definition object class definition so this is this one is our first annotation so whenever we are creating the configuration so how we can create the configuration by using the at the rate interface at the rate interface is nothing but the annotation so here we have a concepts of annotation so when you are right clicking here anywhere if you are right clicking create and here we have options of the annotation somewhere see so when I'm just writing something inside this so I have written this and just finished so how it has created see here it has created the at the rate reference okay this is the address reference it has created so this is the annotation simply okay so now I just want to convert from this annotation into an OHGI configuration so how we can do that thing so for that you can just simply use this object class definition okay so as a class level we have to define that means in line number two we have to define the object class definition then it will convert from normal annotation to a OHGI configurations but in this video we are just defining this class okay so this is the interface okay now this is the OHGI configuration this we are defining inside the service only okay inside the service we can define why I am defining inside the service because of whenever you are creating this OHGI configuration so we that means inside this OGI configuration we have some data exactly so this data we have to use somewhere otherwise we, we have created the data, data and this is the useless so 
we don't want like that okay so whenever you are creating it's important thing it's a crucial we have to use in a service or you can use anywhere but you have to use it you have to call this oj configuration so let's start how we can create so i'm just simply just creating inside the servlet only just come here inside the servlet i'm creating a service otherwise you can just simply create the new package with name service okay so what com dot adobe dot am dot demo dot core dot you can just simply write the service okay so here i have created one package and inside this packet now you can just simply create your service okay so here i am just simply define the oji implementation config implementation so this is the con oji config implementation no and this is the concepts of the oji only okay so this this is the new and extra functionality that is provided by the am okay so this one is my normal class okay now i just want to convert this class into an component that means oj service so how we can do that thing so for that we have to use this @component components so i have used this @component component you can just simply use the service and uh, now inside that in this service we have to pass something then it will con convert to an oj service okay so, but i don't have anything for passing it so i am just simply creating one interface now okay so you can just simply come inside this and create one interface okay so here i am creating oj config so this is the interface that i have created now and this interface i am just simply passing inside this oj config dot class okay so you have to be something inside this interface okay otherwise uh, why we have created okay so my scenario is what i'm doing i'm just creating some of the classes or uh, some of the methods here and i'm using this method inside this okay so this is the thing we have done now and after that you can just simply use the immediate equals to true okay so what does it mean by this so whenever whenever you will deploy so at the first priority this service will execute so that is the meaning of this immediate okay now inside this method what i'm doing i'm just simply creating the oj configurations so here i'm creating the oj configurations how we can create you can just simply use a, a public here we have to use the interface and you can just give the name of your oj config okay so here i am just creating a config that means inside this i am just creating the uh, oj configuration so how we can create the configuration so there is two thing i have already told you a uh, first one this is just simple an annotation if you want to convert then we have to use this object class definition okay this is the thing we have to use that is object class definition and here we have to pass two things that is name and the description so if you are coming here here you see at the first in the bold what we have we have a name this is nothing but our name and the second here this configurations of adobe io dot endpoint this is nothing but the description so if you want to give your own then you can just simply come here and give it so i'm just naming it search software solutions no okay so we'll just simply use julie search software so this is my name of our uh, uh, oj configuration and here i'm passing the description okay example of the oj configuration so this is the thing that i have defined now whenever you will use this oj configuration in a service that time your uh, oj configuration will create and it will show inside this okay and with this name what is your name that is julie search software and this one is a example but the thing is now i just want to define the fields so this is the field uh, this one is the first field that is id second one method and third one is a url endpoint so how we can define this so for defining this uh, we have to use the attribute definition what we have to use we have to use the attribute definition 
okay here we have an attribute definition and this attribute definition accepts some parameters okay so here we have to write the parameters simply so right now first i'm just creating a service name so name service name okay so this is the service name that i have defined this one is the first so where it will appear so after this name that means the name of our oj configuration and the description this service service name what i have defined here service name so it will appear at the left hand side left hand side okay and after that this one is our descriptions okay so i am just writing the descriptions how we can define the descriptions come here and just type description okay and you can just uh, type the descriptions here okay so here uh, enter the service name okay this is the service name this one is our service name and after that now what is this type what you want to enter here so service name may be in a string okay so we have to define the data type as a string this one is an option okay so we have to define here options okay so right now what we need we need a string so you can just simply type uh, we have to define the type and uh, how we can define for that we have to use the attribute type dot string okay so this attribute type is nothing but the constant uh, class and inside that we have a data type so we can just simply use for defining the data type for this attribute definition okay so once you have written this all the stuff once you have written this all the stuff okay so we have to give to some methods why we are giving to some methods because at the last if i want to call okay if i want to call this data if somebody has written some data and this data i want so through method we can get okay only one option is there through method we can easily get this data so for that we have to add this data inside one method okay so here i am just defining public this is the string no so whatever the information written by the user it will return in the form of string so here i am just using a service name okay i am just passing a default value to this service search software solution so this is the name that i have simply passed okay so first thing is done you have to import it everything so i have imported and after that we have defining this one only now i am just defining the service count okay so that means the number number i am defining so another field that i am defining so for that you have to use again you have to use the attribute type attribute type here you have to import this first go inside this write the name name what you want i just want the service count okay so this is the service count that i have defined after that we need a descriptions so you can just simply write the descriptions here so enter service count so this is the thing that i have written it enter service count and after that i just def i just want to define the type so how we can define attribute type dot integer so it will not come automatically so why because of we haven't assigning to a method so when you have assigning to a method that time it will come automatically this integer okay now i'm just defining like int c whatever i'm defining here this is nothing but your java but here inside this inside this attribute time attribute type i'm just defining the wrap, wrapper classes here and this wrapper class it has present inside this attribute type so whenever uh, we are defining the java we have to use this primitive type only okay so now uh, what we need get service scout so this is my method name and i'm just by default i'm just passing some of the things so like this is not a string this is the integer so you can just pass this okay so why it has written uh, why it is showing the errors attribute de okay so here we have to use the attribute definition not attribute type okay 
okay so this is done now again we will create attribute definitions and import it simply okay so here i am just using a name okay so name and this time we will just simply use the boolean so i am just covering everything like every data type i am just trying to covering it okay so this time we will just simply take the uh, we can just simply write the date okay so live data okay we can just write the descriptions and inside this description you can just pass anything like boolean example and after that here we have to define the type so we already knows that how we can define the type you we just have to take this one attribute type you can just paste here and after that in a wrapper class that means all thing in a capital we have to write the boolean boolean done okay so we have defined this thing now at the last we have to pass this attribute definition annotation to one method so we have to define the me method okay and this method will return the boolean value why because we have defined the type here already okay so this is the thing we have done it now we can just simply take the get live data and you can just simply pass default what you want to pass so i just want to pass the false so you can just simply define it so we have defined this and now uh, this thing is done now i just want more than one like that like multi field i want inside this ogr configuration so how we can do that thing so for that we can simply first step is attribute definition will use okay and inside that will pass some of the things like first we'll pass the name okay so we'll take the countries now countries and c must be in capital because we are defining the name you can just pass the descriptions so enter the countries you can add more than one that's why i have written countries okay and define the type so type must be whatever you want like uh, what i just want to define as a multi field but what i want to define string okay so like if what this time what i'm defining countries and country is in string okay but this time what it will happen it will show like this see here we have a multi field no this first second and third if you want to define like that so for that to your method we have to assign the array now i'll tell you how so type i am just defining normally attribute type attribute type and here i am just defining the string once you have defining the string simply you have to create the string of that means here i am just defining the array here okay so whenever you are defining the array that means you can add more than one value but how the interface will create it will create like that so it will come this it will appear this plus and minus option okay is up to you now uh, i am just simply using one method we have to use the method no so you can just simply use the get countries default and just simple inside this default i am just defining the array and you can just pass the value here so en german and india okay so this is the thing that we have defined it at the last we have to use the semicolon for terminating yeah this thing is done now we have defined the multi field as well that means a multiple value if you want to add then you can easily do that thing as well now the thing is here we have one option that is select what is this that is the select that means this drop down if you want to create the drop down so for that they have some annotations by using that we can easily create the drop down so how we can do that thing so same thing first of all we have to take the attribute definitions just paste the attribute definition inside this come inside this here we have to define the name so for what purpose you are defining so run modes that means you can add more than one run modes so am insta uh, we have a author instance we have a publish instance so 
this is nothing but your run modes okay so here okay so this time we will say select the run modes okay we got it select the run modes i have said now we have to define the type and type must be in a string why because of we are asking to select the string okay so attribute type here i am just defining a string okay this thing is done now uh, once you said now here we have to use one attribute that is option okay here we have to define the options and this inside this options attribute we have to define the annotations for what for this drop down see so when i'm just clicking here so it has showing this so when you are clicking inside this gate so one value will store so when you are selecting this is nothing but your titles this all the thing is nothing but your labels or you can say these are the titles so when you are selecting this one value will store somewhere okay so how we can define this things this key and value pair so for that we'll just use this annotation that is option okay so this is the value we have uses here we have a two uh, parameter attributes that is label and last this is value so once somebody select this one like this one inside this whatever you are returning so right now i'm using author so once somebody select this author so he will get this value whatever you will write inside this author instance okay second right comma hit enter and just define the option again label and this inside this i am just using a publish and here you can use publish instance okay if you don't want to select this author and the publish then you can just simply select the both okay value here we have to write the both okay done now so we have created this but the last we have to simply return the value public string this is the string no that means uh, whenever somebody selects so it will store the value in the form of string only so we have to write the string get run mode yeah this is the thing we got it and you can just simply use the default and both okay so here we have to import these options so once you have imported that error will go okay so here uh, we have successfully defined our OHGI configuration but we already knows that whenever you are defining this OHGI configuration we have to call somewhere okay so where we have to call inside this OHGI service okay so how we can recognize this is the OHGI service because of here I have used the at the rate component but for calling this OHGI that means for calling this OHGI configurations in service we have one annotation that is design it at the rate design it one annotation is there okay you have to uh, use this annotation for calling your OHGI configurations but it will accept one parameter which parameter it will accept so that is OCD OCD is nothing but object class definition okay OCD is nothing but your object class definitions okay and where is your now just tell me to whom you want to call so i just want to call this service config okay so that is nothing but your ohgi configuration I, I just want to call this but where this thing is present so it will present inside your config implementation so you can just simply write like this config config implementation dot service config this is done no and at the last we have to use the class okay why it has coming this error fix project setup it has saying ok 
okay so where is this one is our config implementations so we have to use this config okay uh, here pasted this yeah now it has solved i think we have written the config name wrong here we have written the config name wrong that's why so this is the config and inside this config what we have we have this our ogi configuration so i am just simply calling so whatever wherever your ogi configuration is present in some class or the interface you have to use that one first so i have used this config implementation after that this service.config see config implementation.service.config okay and for calling where i am calling inside this ogi service so for calling you have to use this address design it so this is the thing we have to use it okay but we have defined now and i just want to call somewhere okay so i just want to pass this oji configuration to somewhere so how we can pass it okay so for the example i'm just defining the methods here and inside this method inside this interface i will pass my oji configuration okay and in future uh, if you want to print in your html or in your page then you can just simply call this call to this oj configuration so whatever the things that we have defining there first of all we have defined there that is service name get service name this is the first thing second one public sorry it's integer i think get service count what i'm doing here see here config implementation first of all we have done this service name second one we have discussed service count okay and third one you have what we have discussed that is boolean live data here we have defining this uh, countries and at the last we have defined the run mode so like that way i'm just creating and each each this attribute definition we are passing to this methods simple okay so here we have defined now we just need a boolean and boolean is live data public public and a string uh, it must be in array because this is the get countries okay and there we also define as a get countries only so when from there we will get the data so that time we have to take the data in the form of array only if this live data we are just passing this live data inside this method so the except term type type must be this boolean okay so here we have a get service get service is accepting in the form of integer so i just accepted as a integer only and at the last we have a select instance that means the uh, drop down we have so drop down whatever the value they will select only one value will receive okay so that's why here i'm not defining as a multi as a array i'm just simply defining here string again run, run modes i have defining so this is the thing these things i have created this is the in this this is nothing but our interface and this interface i have uses here see where i have uses this interface okay so this is the interface that i have uses here see ogr config so when we have uses here we have to implement as well okay so once you have implemented config so this is the things we have implemented so once you have implement so later that you have to uh, whatever the method it has present inside your Im interface you have to override it so we have override come at down and here you see we have override it okay so everything we have override now we have to just simply pass it we have to pass this method to uh, that means this services that means this uh, attribute definition to our uh, to our uh, methods here we have a methods no we have to pass it but before that we'll just simply do one thing we'll create the variable and later that through that variable we will pass okay so for come here it's done here now no okay so it's done here so i'm just creating the variable now it must be a shape so i'm just creating as a private private and here i'm using string get service name 
so this is the thing that i have defined service name uh, private later that will simply pass private and after that here int and uh, service count private and uh, we'll just pass the boolean and this boolean may be a live data private uh, string string of array string of array and after that we'll pass the countries here countries here we have passed the countries and here last we have run mode okay so we have done these things and after that see so this is our method okay so we have to call this method then then you can get the data otherwise you won't get the data but by default if you want to print okay do you don't want to call your object and you don't want to call your method you want to direct you directly want to execute your whatever the code you have written inside the method you want to directly execute so how we can do that thing so for that we have some annotations so we can simply use this annotation so like activate i have so this activate we'll see later so this activate annotation it is a part of the ohgi so when you are when you are deploying no that time your ohgi will activate activate so that time this method this annotation will call automatically okay so import it and inside this i am just writing one method any method whatever you want so here here i have defined the activate okay so this is the method now inside i am just writing one logic and this logic i just want to execute okay so in, so when you are deploying your code that time this logic will execute automatically okay so here i just want to write one logic so inside this inside this service name okay this is our service name and uh, in this service name i just want to store whatever user write this information where user will write the information inside this okay so whatever the user will write the information here in this service name i just want to store this data to this service name variable so how we can do that things before that we just simply need the object of this ohgi configuration why because this service name this one is our service name where it has present inside this service config so we need the object of these things first so we have to create the object so how we can create you can just simply come here service config and you can just create the object service config so i have created the object here now we don't want this stuff okay and inside this we'll just simply pass service name okay and how we can call so by using this object we can call to this method okay so service service config dot what that is get service name something see so get service somewhere we have oh get service name we don't have it so we have to go there and we have to check it what the name we have defined so here we have defining the service name only so you have to call the service name okay so service name we got the service name now the same thing i'll just want now why what i just want it the same thing now i want the uh, service count as well service like that way we have to define service like that way we have to define it so service oh sorry service count equals to service service config dot get service count then again i just want service what is there live data no inside this live data i just want to get the service config dot get live data done okay so service name we have written wrong and countries is there countries equals to service config dot get countries we got the countries and run 
mode so service config dot get run mode okay so what we have done we have simply uh, taken all this data so this is all this data we have taken to this variables we have stored this all the data inside this variable and now this variable we can simply return to this method okay so here i am just coming what is this this is the service name so where is our service name stored inside this service name so you can just simply write here service service name then i think done okay service count now service count then live data is there live data get country countries maybe a countries is there we got the countries and here we have a run modes okay now it's done so it's up to you now all this information see this this method where it is present this method it's present inside this so all this data where it has come inside this methods only so if you want to print this data so you can easily do that things so if you want to print this data in your components you can do that things okay so we have to create the components and we have to call this method so first of all we have to create the object for this oj config and we have to call this and whatever the user entering the data in this config so this data will store uh, it will print in your html page okay in your page so just try to deploy it now project which one is our demo i think Okay, so our build has successful now we just have to go there and we just have to check it our OSJ configuration is created or not so how we can search our OSJ configuration so you can just simply come here and here we have a name where it is OSJ config here we have a name object class definition what we have defined this is July search software so go there and just search it July search software solution July search software solution here you see click there and once you click our see here at the left hand side this is the search name and what is the description we have added S uh, inter service name and this is nothing but your method name okay so whatever you are returning all this data where it will store inside this service name so that's why i have defined this that's why it's coming like this okay so this one is our integer so it has created the text field but we can store only the integer value inside this okay and this is the by default value here you see this is the multi field that means you can add more than one lines so here we have defining as a uh, string or array and here we have a run mode this run mode is nothing but the optional drop down so when you are clicking here see author publish and both is coming and here we have a checkbox checkbox that means boolean value other you can choose true otherwise you can choose the false okay so uh, this is the thing yeah and here we have a example for our OHJ configuration so when you are coming so you see this is nothing but our example uh, descriptions this one is our uh, name of our OHJ configuration and here these are the attributes so whatever you are defining at the first it will appear at the first see and your service name it will come at the sorry whatever the name you are defining inside your attribute definition it will come at the left so it has came after that when you are defining the description so it will come at the down of your field and this type this type that is string it will come as a first after the name it will come see and it will create one field 
okay and inside this field you can enter your information okay you can just simply save it so here what i have done inside this i have created everything uh, that means the oj configuration and the oj service both thing i have created inside one only okay so if you don't want to create like that so you can just simply create this one separately so how we can create you can just simply come here uh, create service config here annotation we have to create and this is service config so i have created the service config and you can just simply copy this all the code okay this is the code we have to copy yeah here till here and just control x go there here and just simply paste it is it again i have to copy oh okay this is the code we have to copy and uh, we have to remove this one simply and once you have remove done okay but right now in this case see so this service config this service config it's it's not present inside your config implementation so we don't need to be write this config implementation you can just simply remove okay remove this one as well and here you can just simply use this a service config directly so it will what it will do this design it it will find the services oj configuration it will find okay so here we have this service config there is nothing but the oj config no yeah so like that way you can also do that things okay so thank you guys